this is a, a, a dream come true day for me uh, to direct this play that I have loved for many, many years. I have loved all things Kaufman and Hart and Algonquin Roundtable, and then on top of that, another obsessive um, interest in early Hollywood film makes this a soup song of delight. <laughs> it's a story that I love, which is about the transition from silent film to talkies in Hollywood. This is a play about a time of transition in technology in this media, and I wanted to use other media to help tell the story. The play begins on the opening night of Al Jolson's talking picture, The Jazz Singer. That's the very first very famous talking picture. We're going to show a little piece of that film before we would begin to contextualize the first scene, which is the, the premiere, and Jerry, one of our characters, has just been to that premiere, and he comes charging back to the hotel room saying, we got to go west. Within each scene of the play, there will be a video element. So the first scene of the play is in a little hotel room in New York. Through that window, it's going to be a loop of a New York skyline that has a little bit of life to it. When we're on the train to Hollywood, there's a desert scape that, that loops as the train is moving along. When we get to the biggest scene of the play, which takes place in a sound stage in Hollywood, that's where we have about 50 characters and only 15 actors. <laughs> Bringing you all together is really, really uh, moving to me, and um, I'm thrilled. Mm -hmm. 